back on the bank folks a spot that's probably going to look quite familiar because it's um, one that I've come to a fair bit it's quite close by um, but today we are going to be testing a new heavy pike jerkbait setup which I've been waiting ages to do but probably like you guys everything's been icy, cold, miserable etc. Today's the first chance I've had really. So I've got some big laws and some lighter laws so I'm going to give this rod a good test with this reel and see how we get on. Um, so the rod itself is a Western Jerkbait T rated 40 to 130 grams. It's a little bit shorter than I normally go for. I think this is, what is it, six foot, six foot six, or 195. Um, I normally go for a seven foot rod because I'm quite tall, but I um, thought I'd give this a go. It's a little bit different. And it looks awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> a bit of tackle tartiness. So I've got a few different laws to try with a different weight range. This is probably one of the heaviest. It's probably too heavy really for the canal here because it's not really deep, but it's, um, it's one of my homemade laws. It's 130 grams, maybe 140 grams. So it's right at the end, high end of what this rod's rated for. The reel I've got is it's probably not ideal for jerkbait fishing, but it's not bad. Its gear ratio is probably a bit low, but we'll give it a go. And see what happens. Oh. I'm not really anticipating to do much in the way of catching here because I don't think there's a lot of I don't think there's much in the way of big fish around here. Um, so it's more of a it is more of a testing session. So we'll work through a few different laws. And I'll share my views. I'm using a big trace, 100 pound titanium, single wire trace, long trace as well. Um, I prefer titanium. It's, uh, it's a nice stiff trace as well, which is better for jerk baits. We're certainly dealing with this law, no problem at all. Casts easily. Yeah, it's nice and nice fast action. It's a heavy lure, I can really feel the weight of the lure in <clears throat> against the rod like that. Let's bring it a bit more slowly. This lure's too big and heavy really for here, but you never know. more of a deeper water lure really because it's kind of got a medium medium fast sink rate but it's a good one to test the it's a good one to test the kind of high end of this setup really I've got a new bag setup as well which I might show uh, show you guys in a bit I've been searching for ages for kind of the right right setup for big lures I hate carrying lots of stuff and I hate things getting tangled, so I'll show you that in a bit. Right. If you've seen any of the, my other videos, you've seen this law before. This is one of the standard ones I make. 
and which is available on my website. Shameless plug over. This is about 35 grams. It's, it's a light law. That's and it's what's this? It's um this is right at the bottom end of what this is rated. So this rod's rated at 40, so let's see how it that's the brake on the reel rather than the rod. I mean, I am, because I've got such a big trace on, I'm probably fishing more at, uh, that's probably more like 40 grams, because I bet that trace isn't far off 10 grams. Um, but, yeah, no problem. I'm used to fishing with the 70 or MPP2 rods, and the one I usually use that you'll probably see on some of the videos is um, that one's rated up to 80 grams and I use that for kind of light, the light law stuff that I do which is what I normally use on on the canals but I, um, I wanted something that I could use with those laws but also chuck some heavier laws if I wanted to and this kind of felt like it might just be just the ticket and it seems to be it seems to be true. That's good. Right, another law change. I am going to be chopping and changing quite a bit just to test. Um, eBay, by the way, great laws. Five quid. Um, I resprayed the top. Some new eyes. Took a treble off the back, stuck a tail on. Jobs are good in, probably. So this again is it's a light lure, it's a surface lure, crankbait. Kind of like a jerk bait that you can whip through the water. Not really what I'd use this time of year normally, but again, it's just something else to test. I think it's called a what's it called? A Boucher Tail Shallow Raider. Sounds ever so slightly pornographic, but um, be a good lore. Uh, Kind of getting towards March, really, when the pike are chasing. Probably sits about a foot. Might get me down to a two foot under the surface, I guess, if you work it quick. Yeah. Or just on a straight retrieve. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Pretty good for the canal actually, because it gets down to about as deep as you'd probably want to go. I know just the spot for this law, then we're allowed to get in the car and drive to different places again. It's always worth keeping your eye on eBay. As far as jerk baits go, you don't get much chunkier than these guys. I'm sure most of you will recognise them. That's countdown cobs. This is another one I've had to give a bit of um, TLC to because it you can probably see underneath the clear coat there it start to split. So I just put a new clear cut over the top. Give it a go. 
Again, this is a oh, got the brake. So again, it's a law really, this one. That you can work down to about, mm, probably a couple of feet, three feet, when you really start to, when you start to slash it in. And then it kind of just sits down there. The slow, I couldn't remember. Oh no, this is the slow float one. Okay, it's not a countdown. I had another one which was a countdown, but I think I lost that one. Not really very practical for this time of year, but. Uh, Moves a lot of water. So let's try. Got a couple of laws, I just want to give a quick go here. This is meant for bigger water, really. It's, um, it's kind of an oversized burt style law. It's one weighs in about <clears throat> 90 grams. It's not, it's not as heavy as it perhaps looks. And it is just subsurface again, this one. It's quite a fast float. strikes you can get it down to uh, get it down to a couple of feet but then it will it will float flat. A bit fast for this time of year but uh, again it's just another it's just another good test of this rod. Plenty of power. catch any fish this afternoon so help what we'll do I'll have a short quick to show you what how this is set up and it, I've been looking for something like this for a, well I've tried a few different things but this is what works so um, and also just a test of the 
test of the rods there, I didn't really expect to catch very much, but well if anything, and I didn't, so <laughs> that worked out quite well. Um, tested the rod, chucking big lures, been throwing things like Savage Gear, Big Hard Eel, Big Old Handmade Jerk Baits, and um, some of these smaller smaller lures, in fact I don't even think I can get the other that small one out of there because it's that small. So all the kind of things that you would use for your normal pike fishing. Even down to that little chap there. So 35 grams, 30 grams, maybe 40 with a big trace, all the way up to 120, 130, maybe even more, I don't know. With the trace that's probably more like, I don't know, but it, it's certainly well north of 100 grams. Um, and casts all of them really easily, um, so I'm impressed. So my, my ambition with buying, I mean it is a more expensive rod, but my ambition with that was for all my pike fishing I can just use that one rod, that's it. Um, I, don't need to, I don't need to think about carrying two rods and all that kind of stuff. Still might be an occasion where that needs to be the case, but certainly for the majority of the time I can get away with one, which is good. Um, right, and then this, the bag, is what I've been trying to find for some, some time, something like this, and I've tried a few variants, a few different things, but this is a, um, and I'll, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I'll put a link down in the description if anyone's interested, but it's actually a bait bag for carp, boilies, maggots, whatever. I think it carries up to four kilos in weight so it's very sturdy. And all I've done is just rigged it out as you can see with some loose PVC pipe just cut slotted for different size lures. And what have I got in here? 14, 15, something like that. Ranging from the small lures we've just seen right up to the big chunkers. And then there's a bit of room in there for my my uh, wire cutters, pliers on the side, and that's it. And if you were going for a bit of a longer day, you could probably take out a couple of those, stick a drink and a sandwich in if you wanted to, and you've got the added bonus of it being a cool bag, so keep it cool. Two hits already. I've only got about an hour, a quick session. Um, again, it's just coming to a spot which is a bit more appropriate for chucking some big lures. More space. The water's a bit deeper. So I'll try a few jerk baits that I've got. So, uh, Visibility in the water is not very good, although that goes to say it's well, casting straight into weed. It's pretty good for uh, pretty good for law fishing actually. Oh, there we go.
and T-boned it as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Final thoughts then for this quick test. Yeah, like it, recommend it. Not because I haven't got it officially yet, but from the point of view of um, how it works, its ability to cast in its range from small lures right up to some great big hoofers. Great rod, ideal. It's light, it's nicely balanced. Looks pretty cool. I didn't show this feature before either, actually, but it's it's a two-piece rod. But the uh, the butt section breaks, so you're effectively you've got all the power in a blank without a join, I guess. Um, which well, to catch a fish, really, to test that, but. I guess in principle it makes sense. Nice rod though. Yes, it's expensive. But as long as you haven't got any other bad habits, why not? So it's the Western T or Jerkbait T. And in this is uh, this is the heavier version. They do do two versions. I think they do one that's rated up to 80 grams, but this is the 40. 230 gram version, six foot six or 195 centimeters. Nice finish. Yeah, nice bit of kit. I'm pleased with it. Um, just need to catch fish on it now. <laughs>